Welcome and thanks for joining me on my uh, learning experience, How to Bake Bread and Baking Bread for Beginners by Bonnie O'Hara, inspired by Jenna Fisher. I follow her on Instagram and over the Christmas break, she started making these breads, which just looked like they were amazing. And I decided, you know what? That sounds like something I could get behind. Instead of knitting or coloring, I'm always looking for like an extracurricular project that I feel like has a good end result. Like my knitting, who needs five million sweaters knitted? I don't, but bread, I can, if it's a bad loaf, you can feed it to the birds. If it's something that you don't need, there's always people who want bread. We have tons of homeless people around here, so I'm more than happy to hand out loaves if I'm making multiple batches. Um, my friends are dying to try my bread, so I figured, you know what, this is something that the end product can actually be useful. My kids are enjoying it. They like to have the end product. They love coming in and pouring the ingredients in the bowl. They don't necessarily like getting their hands dirty, and that's okay. Um, that's what I'm here for. So welcome, enjoy, I hope you learned something. If you don't, I hope you laugh. And if you don't, sorry, bye. I just finished my yeast, it's in my 86.8 degree temperature water. And now I'm waiting for it to boil. So I'm going to enjoy a large cup of coffee and eat some breakfast. So I'm currently waiting for my yeast to start bubbling. There are no bubbles and I'm freaking out a little bit. But the book says time is part of the ingredients. So I'm trying to be patient and not freak out and go out and buy different yeast. Cause that's what I wanna do right now but I put in a little bit of flour. Thank you, Mrs. Levitt, for the recommendation to help feed my, my yummy yeast. Hopefully it will start bubbling soon. I have set a timer. It's been 10 minutes now. Let's see, we're about to check it out. It's still not bubbling. What did I do wrong? All right, batch one of yeast. I'm saying it's a no-go. We're gonna try again. So, I have dumped out the first batch. Now I have hot water, just warm water. It's about 104 degrees in this bowl, which I need to get it down to 86.8 degrees. But then I read on the yeast jar, my Fleischmann's active dry yeast, that apparently you're supposed to put it into a quarter cup of warm water which is about 100 to 110 degrees to proof it and put in uh, one teaspoon of sugar and then let it stand for 10 minutes. Since sugar is not called for in the bread, I only did a pinch of sugar, but I'm letting it sit in this water for 10 minutes and we'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to the store to buy packets of yeast because I don't know what else to do. Okay, so the yeast bubbled up. I checked the temperature of the water. It was 85.4, which is close enough to 86. And now I have everything in the bowl, including my pink Himalayan salt. We'll see how this goes. I'll check back in. 20 minutes now on the clock. And this is my very, very sticky, very wet dough that is now going to relax and absorb more water. We'll see how this turns out. It's a fun experiment. Pull each corner. Okay, so I need to do Well, we're gonna 
do this a couple more times. I gotta figure out a better way, maybe a heavier bowl next time. I have a big yellow one from my great aunt Adelaide, who was born in 1902. So Lord knows how old that bowl is, but I think we'll use that one instead of my fun metal ones next time. Okay. All right, that's it for now. Let's see, we'll see how this works. I don't know if it's too cold in my kitchen for this. This was plan A proofing basket. It even has a towel in there. Yeah. But looks like Astro the cat decided to make it his little basket. So now we're gonna move on to plan B. I know it's not circle, but it's the best I got. And I'm not investing too much until I can see how I do this. So that was supposed to be plan A. I'm gonna use plan B. And our hour and a half is up. It says the dough should be noticeably lighter. <gasps> Look at that! Filled with bubbles. Look at those bubbles. Oh, look at that. Yes! Okay. Um, so now I'm going to make a glass of, take a cup of water and pinch off a little bowl and drop it. And if it floats to the top, then it's aerated. I pinched off a little ball and now, oh, well, it dropped. It's not floating. So we're going to let it wait a little bit longer. Because it is, it does say if it is particularly cold, then if it's particularly cold, um, then it needs to rise a bit longer. So I'm going to give it another half hour. Final rise is happening right now. It is what the book calls doughy like a marshmallow it doesn't spring back my only problem is it is currently 145 and i have an appointment at 230 and this thing cooks 25 minutes lid on and then another 15 to 20 minutes lid off so i've taken it out of the microwave where i was doing a hot cup of water with it in the microwave and now i'm going to let it sit on the counter until after my appointment, and then I'm gonna try to bake it and see what happens. And if it fails, it fails. That's okay, this is a learning process. I have done everything that needed to get done. It is now in its final minutes of baking, and I'm about to pull it out of the oven. I don't own a Dutch oven, so I had a stainless steel um, pan with a lid that I used. Uh, the proofing took a bit longer, the, the second rising of it took a bit longer than I had expected. So I had to, it rose and then I had my meeting, then I came home and I got the oven back up to temperature. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I think it's good. Feels pretty, pretty crusty. <gasps> I'm excited. I'm really excited. Oh, <gasps> that's solid. Solid. Now I have to let it rest. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Jaffa Jive and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Jaffa and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup.